Hello there, Mass fans. So, I was um, just wanting to say, first of all, that I'm really impressed with uh, the way that a lot of you are going about this and some of your answers on the last couple of questions I've asked you about the um, nth term of the quadratic and the other one that we went through before. What was that? That was uh, other oh, functions. Um, really, really impressive work. So, well done. You are turning into some really quite sophisticated thinkers. So talking of which, I've got another puzzle for you. This one, I, swear, I always get these ones right, but they do make you think a little bit. They look like a real little child's puzzle, but they're quite, they're quite tricksy really. So let me, let me run this one past you. It's called Train Tracks. Right, so just to remind you, all of these, all of these puzzles are coming out of um, the, the weekend edition of the Eye, which are thoroughly recommend and there's all sorts of puzzles in there um i'm not doing all of them at all i'm, I'm cherry picking them and getting the ones that i think are the most math math mathematical but if you like um a bit of wordplay as well there's there's some of those in there by all means maybe encourage your english teacher to do a few now train tracks there are just two kinds of track you can have straight track and track that turns a right angle as you can see there's two bits of straight track there's two right angle turners they can turn either way uh, and the information you have is down here you have the number in each row so there's already one piece of track in this row so there won't be any more it's an eight by eight grid so when you look here this column is going to have every single one's going to have train track in it apart from one and that's got to be this one because we know that we can't have any train track along here now some people might like to get a pencil and cross out all the bits they're not going into but i like to see if i can do it in my head as i go now the first thing i notice here is that this column here says it's got three pieces in and we've already got two now something's going to be arriving from here to get into there it must do either turning that way or the other way but what i also know is that I need another piece of track to go here just to get the train out of there. So that's going to have to be my first bit of train track. Um, so there you go, that's got us started. Now I've got one here, so there's going to be four more here. Now it could be one, two, three, and then turning up, or it could be going up and then wiggling back along in, in, in any one of a number of ways. So it's all about searching through and finding the next bit that could work. So I'm going to leave that you with that at that. Um, and if you fancy it, um, either copy it down or print it off and have a go and maybe uh, send it in. I will, maybe tomorrow, maybe um, in a couple of lessons time, show you my solution. And I will do it this time. Promise. All right, so we've got as far as, as question nine yesterday. So pause the video and, and give this a go. Remember, you're going for a fraction of a circle. So it's a fraction of 360 degrees. And then you're just using um, yeah, circle formula for the area of a circle. Right, so it's saying that we've got a radius of 12. And it's saying the length of the arc is 15 centimetres. So we don't, they're not telling us what this angle is. But it is going to be possible for us to work out what fraction of a circle we've got. Because I could work out what the circumference of the whole circle is. And then what fraction of that whole circumference have I got there? So the circumference... Uh, circumference is pi d diameter is going to be well that's the radius isn't it so the diameter is going to be 2 times 12 is 24 centimeters so the circumference is going to be pi times 24 Put that in the calculator and it is 75.39 now we're going to want to keep that answer so just um 
we could just write down a few extra digits just to make sure we're going to be right there. So that's circumference and we want to know, we know that the area is going to equal, I'm going to put the pi r squared bit pi times 12 squared and then we want this fraction. So we want 15 75.398 and so on now remember in our calculator it will remember that so when i when i do hit me um fraction button put 15 on the top over and then i'm going to press the answer button uh down there and then come out of the fraction and oh it looks like i'm Oh, it's it's solar power. I need a bit more, um, a bit more light. Times pi times twelve squared gives us exactly ninety. That's nice, isn't it? So that is when it's really, really, really worth using that answer button to get it exact. And if you go on to the Mass Genie site and have a look there, they get the same answer with a very, very different method, which uh, by all means check out. I'm not going to take your time more because I think my solution is simpler and therefore more elegant and nicer. But that's just me being me. Um, whatever you think of at the time, as long as it's logical thought, can get you there. Right, this is the last question of the sector one before we start looking at segments. Um, so pause the video and remember this is one in terms of pi so no calculator on this one so the length of the arc is 6 pi the radius is 9 centimeters so we're going to be doing the same idea as we did last time the circumference is pi d the diameter is going to be 2 times 9 is 18 centimeters so our circumference is going to be pi times 18 which is 18 pi and we know that our arc is 6 pi so we want 6 pi over 18 pi of the whole circle well you may well notice that pi divides into pi and 6 goes 3 times into 18 so we actually want one third of the whole circle and the area of a circle is pi r squared so we're talking pi times 9 squared so you are talking 81 one third of 81 is 27 so we are talking 27 pi centimeters squared that's our answer for that one now i could give you a totally new question but let's just go back to question nine for a moment and we'd work this out to be exactly 90 centimeters squared so because that was so nice i think it would be quite good to use that in here now what if instead of asking you that they had asked you for the area of the shaded segment what would we do then well we know how to work out the area of the sector that would be the first thing to do so let's just say we've done that and then we would need to take away from the whole sector the white triangle now the area of a triangle we can work out using area of any triangle is a half a b sine c so that is this length this length 
and if we call C, so if we call that A, little a, and that little b, big C would be that. So we need to know this angle. Now can we work out that angle? What it would be? What could we tell us? We need to know, do you remember we've been using, we've been using an angle as a fraction of a circle, haven't we? So we need to know what fraction of 360, and that'll be our number of degrees. So if I call that x, x over 360, and we know what fraction this is going to be here. So to work out what this is, we would we need to just do 15 over 75.398 and multiply it by 360 would give it because if you times x over 360 by 360 that would give you x wouldn't it so this is the fraction times it by 360 um, just like when you're finding a percentage of something but this time it's out of 360 so let's do that now I've lost my aunts a bit from the thing, so I'm just going to recreate that by saying what I want is 15 over, now 75.39, that was 24 pi wasn't it, so I'm just going to write 24 shift pi there, and then multiply that by 360, and that's giving me 71.619. Seven. So let's just, normally I would take more figures of accuracy than that, but since this is a question we've just made up, let's just say that that is our angle. So if that's 71.6, we can then use the area formula for a triangle to fill that in. So we would be doing a half times 12 times 12 sin 71.6 and actually I can get that exact can't I because I can use the answer button in here so let's just do that uh, 1 over 2 oops not 1 over 1 times 12 times 12 I'm just going to put in 144 there just to show off sin answer close the brackets always close that bracket or you'll get an error and that gives us 68.3268 so to get the area of the segment so red segment remember we had the area of the sector 90 take the 68.3 which I'm just going to call answer because that's what I'm going to put in my calculator now just do 90 take answer and that's given me 21.67 equals 21.7 centimetres squared to three significant figures. OK, I'm going to give you another one of those to have a go at now. OK, I've just drawn this. This is an accurately drawn thing, not that it would help you to be able to work out what the area is so what we want to know here is what we need to know, find the area of the grey segment so this is five centimeters long so is this this is a 30 degree angle and then here's your little slither now it doesn't look like very much does it but we'll still get an exact answer out of it. So pause the video and give it a go. Well, I said I did it accurately. I, I didn't actually measure that to be 30 degrees. I'm not sure if it is. It might, it's somewhat close anyway. Right, anyway, so what should you have done? Well, the first place to start is we need to work out the area of the whole segment. We need the area so of the sector and we're going to subtract from that the area of the triangle. So I could have just written sector take triangle, couldn't I? 
but so let's work out that so the area of the sector is going to be 30 360ths times pi r squared so that is going to be pi times 5 squared and you could work that out but as long as you've written that down like that you're going to get a working mark for that and if you get the right answer on the sector they, they might give you another mark but if you've shown all your working you get the right answer at the end you'll get all the process marks anyway so i'm just going to put that down like that and then I'm going to take from that the area of the triangle. Now the area of the triangle, we were just talking about the formula for the area of a triangle as being a half AB, being this is little a, this is little b, and then that's big C, isn't it? Remember the capitals are used, oh, that should be a capital A opposite there, that would be, um, and then C would be the length of that there. But we don't need um, the length of that, we just need the angle. So it would be a half times 5 times 5, which is 25, sin 30. And then you just need to put that in the calculator like that, just remembering your brackets around the 30 at the very end. Just close it, otherwise the calculator won't like it. So let's pop that in exactly as it is. You might think, oh yeah. I could just write a 12th instead of 30 over 360 and you're absolutely right but in the exam funny things can happen in terms of your brain scrambling and doing strange things so if you've got the calculator you may as well just be methodical write it down on the paper and then look at what you're doing on the calculator double check that everything you've got looks the same sin 30 close those brackets press equals and that is our answer 0 0.2949 and that would be 0 0.295 centimeters squared to three significant figures wouldn't it now if you really want to practice these you can always go and look on uh, Corbett Mass he's got a whole load of, of stuff just on the area of segments it's a bit of a niche topic there's not a lot of questions out there and uh, one thing you can always do if you really want to learn how to do a topic um, really well then calculating or ma making your own question teaching someone else is often a very good way but even better I think in many ways is making up your own questions it teaches you all sorts of things so I've just made this one up I'm rather pleased with it the area of the triangle is 9 root 3 centimetres squared. The radius of the circle is 6 centimetres. You need to work that out. Pause the video and give it a go. So in order to work out the area of the triangle, you would be doing a half times A plus B, which is the 6, sin the angle now we normally call that C but I've naughtily put that there as an A so let's just call it sin A and we know that that is giving us 9 root 3 so let's sort out what we can 6 times 6 is 36 a half of 36 is 18 so we've got 18 sin A equals 9 over root 3 we could divide by um, 18 and we get sin a is equal to 9 over 18 is a half isn't it so it'll be root 3 over 2 now if you get your calculator this could each actually be if it was really mean they could stick this in a non-calculator paper and i'll show you why if you pop into your calculator sin minus 1 of root 3 over 2 to find out what that angle is you should find it's one of those values that we should that we're told we're meant to remember so shift sign root 3 over 2 and that's because it's actually going to be quite a famous angle it's 60 degrees which means i was being really sneaky when i made this up and this was an equilateral triangle
that was sneaky wasn't it anyway so now that we've got that that might have been too much but now hopefully you should be able to pause the video and work out the area of the segment so we are talking first of all the sector is going to be 60 over 360 which I'm going to just write as one sixth this time uh, times pi r squared pi r squared so pi times 6 squared and then we're going to take away the area of the triangle so the segment is going to be that take so this is 1 6th of 36 is 6 6 pi take 9 root 3 which if it was in a non-calculator paper and you were asked for it exactly that would be all you'd do as it is i'm just going to go 6 pi take 9 root 3 press equals and it gives us 3.326 centimeters squared to three significant figures right okay i hope you enjoyed that and we will be on to something a little simpler next time. Cheerio, folks.